It's been one of the biggest debates in the investing community for the longest time now. Should you become a value investor or a growth investor? And this question truly relies on a number of factors. A, what type of investor are you going to be? Are you gonna dig into quarterly reports and financial reports? Or are you gonna see the future and look at companies that face value? Well, today we're gonna dig in to what is better, growth investing or value investing. So first let's explain what growth investing and value investing are. With growth investing, investors are looking to find companies that are worth $100 and turn them into $200 very quickly if that company continues to grow. So for a company to be successful for a growth investor, the company has to expand very quickly. And this can be shown in a number of different things like the PE ratio or a number of other factors. Sometimes people can call growth stocks momentum stocks because their momentum is what propels them forward and the market all gets emotional and they start to pump those stocks up. So you've seen this with a bunch of stocks in the past. Technology stocks are famous for this. Companies like Apple, or Amazon or Facebook or Tesla, as they start to rise over time, their growth is exponentially rising with the share price. Now, sometimes this isn't always the case. For example, Tesla kept on growing, but they weren't producing more cars to show that growth. This can happen a lot of times when investors believe in the company's mission, but the company's not growing as fast as its share price. Now, value investing is a little bit different. The way value investing works is you're trying to find the intrinsic value of a company or the actual value of a company. Then you're trying to buy that company undervalued. So Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger made value investing very famous. Peter Lynch came after them and Monesh Pabrai is one of the best ones doing it now. And value investing is extremely famous because Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger put it in the forefront. Now for a lot of people, value investing is something that you have to put a lot more time and work in because you have to be reading quarterly reports, financial reports. You have to fully understand the business, which you should be when you're investing in anything. But you're also looking at a number of other factors like company management, what the company's value should be, and a number of other things. So let's look at some differences between value investing and growth investing. For example, with value investing, the P.E. ratio is typically low. And with growth investing, the P.E. ratio is typically high because it's moving on momentum. When it comes to dividends, value investing favors higher dividends and growth investing favors lower dividends. And growth investing has dividends less often. And a stereotypical stock for each time for value investing, for example, would be Coca-Cola, Johnson & Johnson. You can think of companies like dividend aristocrats, household staples. Typically, if those are undervalued, then it's a great value investment. Now for growth investing, you could think of things like Apple, Amazon, Tesla, Netflix, all of these tech stocks are great examples of growth stocks. And then the last thing we can look at is volatility because with value investing, it's typically less volatile. It's a steady growth over time. And with growth investing, it's high volatility, meaning the stock goes up and down over time a lot. But regardless between the two, sometimes the differences are superficial because what we as investors really wanna do is we wanna buy undervalued stocks that are gonna grow over time. And both of those have the same goal. That's what the goal is for each and every company that we buy. So which one is better? Well, in the last 10 years, growth stocks have significantly outperformed value investing stocks. And that could be because the market is booming and tech stocks are truly taking off. Specifically, the FANG stocks, which is Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google, all of these types of companies have really taken off within the last 10 to 20 years. This is why growth investing has significantly outperformed value investing. But over the long term, value investing has outperformed growth investing historically. So if you look back at history, value investing has outperformed the market if you do it right and can outperform growth stocks as well. But in the short term, in the last 15, 20 years, growth investing has outperformed value investing. So the question then becomes, is value investing dying? Well, there's a lot of people who think that value investing is gonna come back. And it's gonna be something that's going to be available over time because a lot of people are putting money into these high tech stocks and some people think they're being overvalued. That leaves a lot of other companies to be undervalued over time and there's opportunity there. So the debate between value stocks and growth stocks is going to live on, but historically, over time, value stocks have outperformed growth stocks, and even though growth stocks are gonna lead the headlines, is what you're gonna hear the most about. So the true bottom line is, try to find companies that are undervalued, that are gonna grow significantly over time. That's what we investors wanna do. We wanna increase our income over 
time. Now, if you don't want to deal with individual stocks, look into passive investing, which is investing in things like index funds, which are just buying the index instead of buying individual stocks. And that's great for beginners and people who are just starting out investing so that they can get the hang of how the market actually moves. And if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And we will see you guys on the next video.